Hey everyone, Litecoin, a cryptocurrency, is not a recent invention. It first entered the market to compete with Bitcoin. But Litecoin lagged behind the growth of Bitcoin and was overtaken by rival cryptocurrencies as they joined the market. But despite the existence of rival cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin continues to be the market leader. However, Litecoin has a chance of succeeding in the market. So, considering this hype, here is a new video on Litecoin by Simply Learn to enlighten you more about its concepts. So, let's get started. But before moving ahead, please hit the like button and do subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Well, let's have a look at what you are going to learn in this video about Litecoin. So, first, I will take you through the definition of what is Litecoin, followed by how it works. Then I will let you explore the differences between Litecoin and Bitcoin. Then I will help you understand what are the pros and cons of Litecoin. Then I will explain to you how Litecoin is used. Following that, I will explain to you how Litecoin is traded. And then I will let you explore why trade Litecoin with CMC markets. And then I will take you through the factors that affect Litecoin. And in the end, why should you buy Litecoin? So let's get started with the video. First, let me make you understand what is Litecoin. Now, the native cryptocurrency of the open source blockchain project Litecoin, whose code is a copy of Bitcoin's, is LTC. As the silver to Bitcoin's gold, Litecoin was created to be more scalable and to process transactions considered more quickly than Bitcoin. In October 2011, Charlie Lee, a software engineer who had previously worked at Google and the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, announced the creation of the blockchain on the Bitcoin Talk forum. Now that we know what is Litecoin, let me take you through how it actually works. Now, using an open source cryptographic technology, digital coins are created and transferred using Litecoin. It keeps a decentralized public ledger for all transactions using blockchain technology. Now, what is blockchain technology? A shared digital ledger called the blockchain contains a record of every Litecoin transaction. By miners, recent cryptocurrency transactions are compiled into blocks. After that, the blocks are cryptographically protected before being connected to the pre-existing blockchain. Now, Litecoin and Bitcoin, among other cryptocurrencies, also use similar blockchain technology. Now, this raises a question that what is mining? Now, mining is the process of employing miners or mining software to secure each block to the current blockchain. The release of new Litecoin units occur when a block has been secured. These units can be reintroduced into the market by miners. Well, this raises another question that how exactly Litecoin differs from Bitcoin. Now, this comparison will be made on a few parameters. First is coin release date. Litecoin was launched on 7 October 2011, whereas Bitcoin was released on 9 Jan 2009. Second is maximum coin supply. There is a limited supply of coins in circulation for both Bitcoin and Litecoin. Litecoin has 84 million coins accessible, which is almost four times as many as Bitcoin's 21 million. Third is average transaction speed. Now, despite requiring more advanced equipment than Bitcoin to mine, which takes almost 10 minutes, blocks in Litecoin are actually generated in 2.5 minutes, up to four times faster. Additionally, Litecoin executes financial transactions much more quickly and can handle more of them in the same amount of time. Fourth is halving. Halving interval for block rewards. Their range is based on basically market supply only. And the last one is mining algorithm. A cryptocurrency's blockchain can draw by adding new blocks when miners successfully solve hash functions. Now, Litecoin and Bitcoin employ different mining algorithms Script is the hash, hash function used by Litecoin and Bitcoin utilizes SHA-256. Now, let me explain to you the pros and cons of Litecoin. Now, the popularity of Litecoin started to soar in 2017. 
five years later, it is still in demand and sells for over $70. It has fared better than many of its rivals during the recent cryptocurrency sell-off, but investments always carry a risk. It's impressive how relative stability has held up for Litecoin throughout time, though it exhibits steadiness but lacks the impressive growth that attracts investors. Although the coins are reasonably priced, they are nonetheless more expensive than most of their rivals. Also, Litecoin's market capitalization is smaller than other cryptocurrency, and it has lost market share as well. Also, Litecoin is less speculative than many of the younger coins, even if all cryptocurrency investments are speculative. The expansion of Litecoin may be constrained by the fact that it is less scalable than competitive blockchain like Stellar Lumens. So now that we have covered the basics of Litecoin, let me take you through how Litecoin is exactly used. Now due to its strong liquidity, Litecoin is a cryptocurrency with simpler trading. Actually, owners of Litecoin will discover the businesses like Newegg, Sling TV and even charities like the American Red Cross are glad to take their digital money. To make a payment with LTC, you can alternatively utilize a digital currency app like BitPay or CryptoPay. Now, you can use the Binance app to send money using LTC if you wish to use it for peer-to-peer -peer payments. Now, let's see how Litecoin is exactly traded. Now, the price of one Litecoin is typically indicated against the US dollar when purchasing it on an exchange. In other words, you are selling USD to purchase LTC. If the price of Litecoin increases, you can sell it for a profit because it is now worth more in USD than when you first purchase it. Now, if you opt to sell at a lower price and incur a loss, this is what will happen. Also, you can trade Litecoin with CMC markets using a spread bet or contract for difference or CFD account. This enables you to make price predictions without actually owning the cryptocurrency. Your possession of Litecoin is not transferred. Instead, you are taking a stake whose value will fluctuate with changes in the price of Litecoin relative to the US dollar. Now that you know how Litecoin is traded, let me explain to you why Litecoin should be traded with CMC markets. So the first reason is open a long or short position. Now you can trade on increasing and falling prices with speed betting at CFDs to sell Litecoin, which is not available on cryptocurrency exchanges and you do not need to hold any. Second is efficient use of capital. Now, when you trade using leverage, you merely put up a small portion of the total trade value to begin a position. With well-known cryptocurrency exchanges, you must deposit the entire contract's value. Remember that both gains and losses will be amplified and your risk losing for more money than you initially invested. Third is no exchange account or wallet. There is no requirement to open an exchange account or wallet to store the purchased Litecoin. In contrast to trading the underlying cryptocurrency, this eliminates the need to wait for exchange approval. Worry about keeping your wallet secure and pay fees if you decide to withdraw money later. Fourth is trade with an established provider. CMC Markets is a licensed provider with 29 years in the business. We provide assistance to all of our customers anytime the markets are open. And fifth is trade responsibility. For most people, cryptocurrencies are still rather new and can be very unstable. They want our clients to fully access comprehensive instructions, resources to support their trade. Now, let's have a look at the factors that actually affect the LTC coin. Now, Similar to Bitcoin, Litecoin's volatility is likely influenced by the following factors. First is regulation. Governments and central banks presented do not control cryptocurrencies. There are concerns about how this might evolve over the coming years and its effect on value. Second is supply. There are only so many Litecoins that can be mined, which is 84 million. The rate at which coins are introduced to the market can also effectively availability. Third is press. Public opinion, security, durability and the pricing of competing cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin can all impact Litecoin prices. And fourth is adoption. 
neither consumers nor businesses have yet embraced litecoin as a form of payment however some believe that blockchain technology has promise and may one day be more widely used now the biggest question of concern is should you buy litecoin according to blasky or bit ira litecoin might be a good addition to the portfolio of an experienced cryptocurrency investor who values its stability and adaptability particularly for those who want a combination store of value asset with the side bonus of convenient transactions so according to some experts litecoin might be a suitable investment for a beginner looking to learn the ins and outs of cryptocurrency trading nenia makes the following conclusion about whether ltc is a good option for your wallet there are other blockchain competitors that individuals may pick from but litecoin still remains a relevant choice so this was all about litecoin i hope you find this video interesting and informative if you have any questions feel free to ask away in the comment section our team will reach out to you as soon as possible thank you Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.